Okay. Hi, welcome to the 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And today we're gonna go through the question that a lot of people probably have, whether to do Sasquatch, OEM, or DIY Sasquatch. Now, as far as the one behind me, the Big Ben, it is just appearance looks. Uh, it doesn't have lockers or anything like that, so I didn't go that far into it. And there's a couple questions you might wanna ask yourself. One is, what do you need the Sasquatch package for? Is it just the looks? or are you going to actually use all the components that come with the Sasquatch and go off-roading with it and go off-roading with it so I'll go through some of the items that come with this that you may not need and that's something that you have to answer yourself also the next thing is which model do you plan on getting do you plan on getting the base or the big uh, big bend like this or do you plan on getting the badlands as this is right here there is a difference for cost. So let me go through some of the cost differences. This right here, between the base model Badlands and the Big Ben, or the, uh, the Sasquatch, is $4,100. What this is, the same thing, but the Sasquatch package on this, this is gonna cost you around, 30 or sorry it's going to cost you around $7,400 for a two-door and for the four-door it's going to cost you around 66 that's from factory yeah that's from factory now the thing with it is with this one right here the reason there's such a big difference is because it already comes with all the lockers for it it comes with the the uh, rear ends and stuff like that for it, it comes with lockers so you don't need to add all that this right here doesn't. As you can tell, say hi to the diesel. Hi, diesel. This doesn't have any lockers or anything like that in it. Where this, even though it's a Sasquatch, it already had them in there, so they didn't have to add anything new to it. Also, it comes with the beadlock capable wheels. Now, these are beadlock capable. They are not beadlocked from the factory. You can buy the ring to put them on there. The only reason they don't do it is because it's against federal, uh, federal, federal regulation regulations. to actually sell that product on there. And let me tell you this right now, talking to an automotive uh, manufacturer mm -hmm. from Big Dog, I think it was Big Dog Motorcycles. They actually sold a vehicle and got a huge fine for actually selling it with the aftermarket exhaust system on it, I think is what it was that they told me. So they won't do it. What they'll have to do is send the vehicle off the property and then bring it back on and do it as a added thing later on it will so not be basically you buy the vehicle there with nothing on it you buy your components somewhere else and then you come right back to that place that you bought it from and have them install it they actually sell <laughs> the components for it so Ford sells the components to make these uh, real beadlock capable wheels. Everybody makes fun of the fact that it's just like beauty rings. And yes, right now it is, but... There's a reason for it. Ford will not get fined for doing something that the federal regulation is going to permit or prohibit them from doing. Yeah, That's it's, why. It's a way for them to get away from, get around it. They can do this and they so can buy it, it. It gives you the appearance without getting them in trouble. Yeah. Oh, might point way up there. Anyways, um, <laughs> so some of the other things uh, that you want to look for is you also have the wider fenders. They say high-rise fender flares. They're not. They're just wider out. Um, we bought these for this. Now, to go through this, well, actually, go through this one. We purchased this one non-Sasquatch. It would have cost us... $6,600 to make it a Sasquatch if we ordered it that way. We didn't pick it up or we didn't order this one. We just picked it off off the lot. The thing is, the wheels and tires cost us right around 3500 20, I think. Uh, about three grand. Yeah. About three grand for that. Um, these right here cost us 350 And the 
Uh, the lift was like 250. It was 150 bucks. Oh, what? Cheap it for lift, the... yeah. It's just spacer. Oh, so okay. these are the same size rims, or the same size. Well, actually, the same size rims and tires. This has a different offset than these right here. These are 315, 70, 17s, as well as these. They're just different manufacturer. Uh, these are Nitos. Obviously, the other ones are Goodyear. Goodyear. Wranglers. Where's it say Wrangler? Wrangler? Yeah, it says you got to pay extra for the Wrangler Delete. Um, the rims the same size minus this one's a plus 18 offset, where this one I believe is like a 28 or something like that. Don't don't beat me up in the comments, but I don't know the offset of that one. I know that one because I bought those. Um, also, you know, it's this one actually sits a little bit higher that we found out yeah, because of the lift. So just a little bit. About an inch or so. And it's not just because of the way they're sitting right now. We uh, we had them in a parking lot that was level. This one's just higher than this one. Just, yeah, just, 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 by, by, a, just so. by a little bit. Now, another thing with this is if you just want the look of it and you don't plan on using the lockers, Save yourself some money and buy the non scoff squash, buy the cheap lift, buy the tires you want. Because a lot of people are selling those rims to buy the rims they want. That way they don't have a whole bunch of rims or they don't look like every other Sasquatch vehicle out there. Yeah. So you might be able to, if you're looking for this and want the Sasquatch look, you might be able to find the rims from one of these and purchase. I've already heard of a couple of people buying them from whether it be uh, eBay or Craigslist or something like that that has them. A lot of people want those rims and then the other half doesn't want to want, doesn't want those rims. So, you know. It's all personal preference. This has the looks of a Sasquatch without the cost, without the ex extremely expensive cost to actually get all the lockers and stuff like that. If you're not going to use it, go with this. If you plan on doing any kind of off-roading, which we do for this, we do plan on for this. That's why we have the winch and all the other stuff to be able to get it out of it. Also, we won't be going in this alone. We'll be going with this, which this one has everything we need to get into and out of trouble. Into and out of trouble. She's already gone through all the worst parts to get to this thing. Notice my wheels are not wet not and all muddy. Not just one. Yep. Just one. That one over there. Just one. Half of Florida is stuck to her tires right now. <laughs> Just one. The biggest one right there. Sorry, right there. Anyways. And I almost got it stuck, but I got him unstuck. So, meh. You got... I hope the guy didn't get him stuck. Well... Like I said, the thing you can't get these stuck. Honestly, you just can't. You really have to either screw to up try. bad or try extremely hard to get these things stuck. Trust me, we did it at Off Rodeo. Yeah, we, we tried. We tried. Anyways, and we failed. <laughs> so what? So with that, we want to make sure that you guys kind of, if you want to save some money, you can save your money by if you don't plan on doing any off-roading and just want the look, go with this rather than that right there. We plan on doing a lot of off-roading, which of course we have that one and this one right here to get ourselves in trouble. And, and see, out of. Yeah, and out of trouble. Um, again, you know, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and hopefully... Check out our website. Um www.151garage and we also have some blogs coming up so take a moment and read those yep uh, there's a lot of stuff going up on those including the builds for these two as well as the bronco sport badlands that she has and the future bronco the black diamonds uh what can i say we like broncos a little bit so just just a little bit anyways um Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Anything else? You sure? Yeah.
If I remember something, I'll add it to another video. See you next video. Bye. <laughs>